हेलो बच्चों अपने इस चैनल पर जई एडवांस्ड की फिजिक्स मैं आपको फिजिक्स के कॉन्सेप्ट्स सिखा रहा हूं बाय मींस ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स हम बेसिकली इस चैनल पर आपको फिजिक्स के क्वेश्चंस लेकर कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स को सिखा रहे हैं आज के इस सेशन में हम सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन पे बेस्ड एक रिलेटिवली ईजी क्वेश्चन करेंगे ये क्वेश्चन पहले ही हिंट दे दे रहा हूं लिखा इनफैक्ट फिजिकल पेंडुलम कंपाउंड पेंडुलम के कॉन्सेप्ट पे बेस्ड है तो आइए देखते हैं आज का हमारा ये प्रॉब्लम थ्री आइडेंटिकल मासेस आर कनेक्टेड विथ आइडेंटिकल रिजिड रॉड्स मासलेस रॉड प्लीज एड वन पॉइंट थ्री आइडेंटिकल मासेस आर कनेक्टेड विथ आइडेंटिकल रिजिड मासलेस रॉड्स एंड पाइवोटेड एट पॉइंट ए दीज आर थ्री मासेस दे हैव गॉट सेम वैल्यू The rods shown in the figure, they are massless. If the lowest mass receives a small horizontal push to the left, this lowest mass is given a horizontal push to the left. मैंने इसको इस तरफ थोड़ा सा धकेल के छोड़ दिया तो it will start oscillating. What kind of oscillation it will do? You have to imagine yourself. यहां पर एक कील लगी है pin लगा है and it allows the whole system to rotate like this. So if I push it a little bit this way, it is going to oscillate like this. The whole thing will oscillate. This horizontal rod will dance like this, right? So in this case, the oscillation time period is t1. Let us assume the oscillation time period is t1. Now, instead of giving a horizontal push to the left, if I, if I give it a small push into the page of the figure. into the plane of the board uh, if i just push it this way rather than pushing it this way i give it a gentle push this way into the plane of the board and the whole thing whole thing oscillates like this in the first case the whole thing will remain in the plane of the board it will oscillate like this now in the second case i am giving it a gentle push inward so that it oscillates like this in this case the time period of oscillation is t2 what is the ratio t1 is to t2 we have to assume that oscillations are small and we have to assume that these rods are massless and they are identical a is the center point of this horizontal rod so let us say if i assume that assume that length of each of these two rods is 2l so this length is l this is l and this is 2l mass of each of these balls small balls is m so please pause the video and try to solve this question on your own ha ah, mujhe aasa hai ki aap mein se kai logon ne is question ko nishchit roop se solve kar liya hoga is question mein t1 aur t2 ko likhne mein antar kya hai rotation axis ka antar hai pehle question ke pehle hisse mein ye kaha gaya that this ball is being pushed like this which means uh, at a certain point in time you may see this system to be like this isn't it this point a point a remains fixed but this whole thing is dancing like this so if this kind of oscillation is happening what is the time period of oscillation that is t1 and in the second case this whole thing this whole thing is going into the board this thing is going into the plane of the board coming out this is oscillating like this so basically rotation axis is different in this particular case in the first case where is the rotation axis rotation axis is a line passing through point a perpendicular to plane of the diagram in the first case when this whole thing is oscillating in the plane of the board the rotation axis is this line right in the second case in the second case when it is oscillating like this where is the rotation axis abhi bhi video pause karke soch ke batao in that case this is the rotation axis this is the rotation axis try to understand if uh, i am having an object like this with me okay if this is rotating like this if it is oscillating like this then this is the rotation axis right uh, ye is axis ke about rotation a finger is the axis and when this whole thing begins to rotate like this it is rotating like this then this finger is the rotation axis and that is the distinction Uh, between the two cases rest all is very simple i guess you all know the formula for 
time period of oscillation of a compound pendulum. Do you know that? Time period of oscillation of a compound pendulum. What is that formula? Okay, I will change my color. Time period of oscillation of a simple pendulum. Do you remember for simple pendulum? Do you remember it for compound pendulum? I will just do it in a minute so that uh, if you have forgotten, uh, you should not be taking more than 30 seconds to reach at that formula. Just a rigid body. Think of any rigid body that is suspended and it can oscillate under gravity. Here is a keel and it can rotate let us say in the plane of the board like this. This is the equilibrium position when the center of mass of the body falls right below the point of suspension. Distance between the point of suspension and center of mass is let us say L. This is important in compound pendulum. L is the distance between the point of suspension and center of mass. It is not any kind of length of the body. It is distance between center of mass and point of suspension. Now, if this body is oscillating like this, you consider it in some different position. Let us say here, the center of mass has, sorry, the center of mass has moved to this position and this whole thing, the body has rotated by an angle, let us say theta. This is how the body is, has rotated. So, when you consider the body in displaced position, mg produces a torque, a restoring torque, a torque that tries to bring the body back to its original equilibrium position and this causes the body to go back to its original position actually. What is torque of mg? Very simple, line of mg, this line of mg is at a perpendicular distance x from point of suspension o. So, torque of mg about o is nothing but mg into x. Now, this length is L and this length is theta. So, this x is nothing but L sin theta. Ye thoda fir se ke khud se soch lena. So, this length is x which is L sin theta. So, torque of mg is nothing but mg into L sin theta. This is a restoring torque. We write it with a negative sign and this is equal to i into alpha where i is the moment of inertia of the body about this axis, rotation axis and alpha is its angular acceleration in this particular position. So, when the angle theta is a small sin theta can be taken as theta and therefore, this becomes mg L by i into theta. This I hope all of you know is equation for angular simple harmonic motion. So, angular acceleration is proportional to minus theta which means this is simple harmonic motion. This quantity is omega square which means omega is under root of mg L by i. And because omega is 2 pi upon time period, therefore time period, the formula for time period becomes omega is 2 pi upon time period, therefore formula for time period becomes 2 pi under root i by mgl. Uh, so, this is the formula for time period of oscillation of any physical pendulum, compound pendulum. What is a compound pendulum? Any rigid body that is oscillating under influence of gravity. There is a fixed point, a body ko kisi point pe fix kar diya gaya hai and it is oscillating just under action of gravity. It is a compound pendulum. So, in the last question, we need to figure out two things. One is moment of inertia about the rotation axis and the value of L. It is quite easy to see that for this particular object, m and m, 2m mass can be assumed to be placed over here. You can assume that for finding the position of center of mass of this body, what I can do is I can assume that uh, this m m 2 m mass is kept at point A and then there is a mass m over here at a distance of 2 m, right. So, the center of mass of this system can be easily found out. I hope all of you can do it on your own. The center of mass will be at a distance of one third of this whole length. So, distance of center of mass from this point is actually 2L by 3. Aap sabhi shayad ye jante hain ki ye center of mass ki duri kaisa calculate karte hain. m into 2L, 2M into 0 divided by 3M. So, center of mass is at a distance of 2L by 3 from point of suspension A. So, in our formula, 
this l is distance of center of mass from point of suspension so in our uh, given question the value of l will be 2l by 3 so we have found out one thing that this value of l is actually 2l by 3 now what is moment of inertia in the first case the rotation axis is an axis passing through point a perpendicular to plane of the board so what will be moment of inertia here and from this axis this mass is placed at a distance m so ml square so is this mass ml square and this mass is at a distance of 2l therefore it is m into 2l square so this is the moment of inertia of this object about this axis passing through point a perpendicular to plane of the board this gives you 6 ml square so in first case the time period of oscillation will be obtained if i just substitute i'll just erase these few things from here they are no more required okay so now you just substitute the value of i and you will get the value of time period in the first case what is the value of i it is 6 ml square divided by 2 mgl divided by 3 okay. both the m's are same capital m or small m whatever so this time period is 2 pi under root of this 2 3 ja 6 3 3 ja 9 9 l upon g please verify this for correctness uh, this is 2 3 ja 6 3 3 ja 9 9 l by g so this is the time period in first case what about the second case in the second case the formula remains same only the value of moment of inertia changes the value of l also remains same because distance of center of mass from this point has not changed but now the rotation axis is this axis the rotation axis is this axis if the body is oscillating like this so if this is the rotation axis these are like point masses they are on this rotation axis so contribution to moment of inertia for this mass as well as this mass is zero so the moment of inertia is simply m into 2l whole square that is 4 ml square so in this particular case the moment of inertia will be 4 ml square and value of small l in fact will be written as 2l by 3 so this becomes 2 pi under root this is 2 2 ja 4 this becomes 6 l by g so now you can work out the ratio of t1 and t2 i hope all of you have understood this so in case of compound pendulum we know the formula that is good very good but it is essential to understand it is essential to find out which one is the rotation axis you have to write the value of moment of inertia about that rotation axis only and please always be cautious this l is not any kind of length of the body any length given in the question it is the distance of center of mass from the point of suspension i hope the students you have understood this question well so fir se hamare is channel ko ek bar subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe kar lijiye video ko like karna mat bhuliye like kyon nahi karte hain bhai aap log chaliye milte hain agle video mein ek naye question ke sath